they can actually swim very well. They actually float and they just do the doggy paddle and they can swim better than they can walk on the ground. It's really weird. It's very strange to see the world's slowest mammal swimming better than it can crawl. So these sloths are perfectly happy swimming in the salt water between mangrove patches. Maybe he's looking for a new mate or for some new habitat, new mangroves. But they can't swim to the mainland, it's too far. So they're isolated out here. So the pygmy sloths have no way of leaving the island, and this means it's the only home for these gentle and defenseless little creatures. That makes them extremely vulnerable. So because there's only 200 of these animals uh, on this one island, everyone counts. And so even just one mango tree being cut down really threatens the entire population. The island of Escudo is a marine nature reserve. No one is allowed to live there or interfere with the wildlife or habitat. But unfortunately, the rules are not strictly enforced. Every time I come out here, there's fewer and fewer sloths and more and more people. I honestly think that the future for the pygmy sloth is uh, not going to be that bright. Uh, there's still illegal logging going on the mangroves, so people are poaching them. And their numbers are just so small that any small thing could wipe the whole species. So if I had to guess, I would say that I would bet in 10 years they will not be a species anymore. Like so many of the new species in our decade of discovery, the pygmy three-toed sloth is at a crossroads. Unless conscious efforts are made to protect them and their fragile habitats, they'll be lost to science when they still have so much to teach us. Well, I think the importance of the pygmy sloth is that it just shows how fast evolution can happen. I mean, this species is only cut off for about 9,000 years. So it just shows how fast evolution and, and adaptation can occur. And so it's a really, you know, amazing discovery.